All right, this is going to be a quick video on sources of plastic for kayak repairs. These are my sources over here. I love bulk pickup because the people throw all this stuff out. I use trash can lids, detergent bottles, tool cases, Lego cases, five gallon buckets. My preferred things to use is little tykes. I haven't had any problems with little tykes uh, plastic. There's one of those little basketball sets. I've got off white, I've got black, I've got yellow, I've got red. Here I've got more colors. And there's your number two with the HDPE on it. And this of course is Little tikes. Uh, this was a, this was one of those little chairs that's got the four legs on it. That's all that's left of that thing. This is like a little bassinet cradle looking thing. You can see how much of that thing I've used. Uh, this one here is uh, I forgot what it's called. This is number four LLDPE, which is. Uh, Linear low density polyethylene. Uh, this is the kind of plastic used like for chemicals and stuff. But anyway, this stuff works too. Uh, five gallon buckets, trash can lids. I've attempted to use the plastic from a 55 gallon drum. I couldn't even get that plastic to stick to itself. I heated it to the point that this went crystal clear. I could see. I could. I mean, it's like. A, quarter inch thick and I could see through it when I heated it <clears throat> so I would steer away from 55 gallon buckets or drums it says number two HDPE on the bottom of it but I couldn't get it to work and I prefer using uh, small strips I mean you can see what's left of this lid that's how much of this lid I've used on pelican kayaks and other yellow kayaks, uh, ocean kayaks, and it's almost almost the right color. When you're heating, when you're heating the plastic, both surfaces have to be hot. So you got to heat. If there's a crack or a hole here, you have to heat this. Put your put your plastic on there and start heating it, and then take it off, and heat it again, flip it over. You got to have both surfaces hot. I mean. I use one plug out here, so I I should have a heat gun and the iron going so that I can heat my surfaces. And this is a Hobie kayak, and I actually used some of that little bassinet. It was a pretty good match back here. But I also put I'll patch I'll patch wherever's cracked, and then I'll put a wire mesh. I put a wire mesh that covers this whole the whole video on this. Uh, I put a wire mesh in here, and then I coat the wire mesh uh, with more plastic. This was somebody else's repair. It was just gobbed on there, and I tried to smooth it out as much as I could. But that's the best I could do. I mean, it doesn't leak or anything. I was just trying to make it pretty. Uh, but like I said, these are your sources of plastic. Play school, I think they're also the same thing, but most of what I find are little tight stuff. Like this stuff, I'm not going to keep it all together like this. But like I said, these are great sources of plastic. Uh, I don't use any chemicals, any 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 products. I don't use fiberglass on plastic. It just hot plastic sticks to hot plastic. I don't use fiberglass or Bondo or putty, silicone. I mean, silicone is good. Like if you want to run a bead of silicone around a hatch when you're putting it in. Yeah, that's good, but don't gob it up on the outside. It just looks bad. <clears throat> hot plastic sticks to hot plastic. That's the simple rule. And I've repaired a lot of kayaks. I've repaired both of these. I've repaired this one. This one has a big old crack on the inside. Look, crack. It starts up there and goes all the way down to over there. That's a 13-foot kayak, ocean kayak, which is a very good brand. But it had the crack. On the inside, I only use 
the little tykes thing on the outside i used gray i used black i used white it's all the same kind of plastic but i was trying to keep the urban camo look uh, that kayak over there is made of abs it's a whole different product uh, for pets in there you can see the keel guard i put on it what i do is i uh i put the abs look there's some more there's a swing set piece of a swing set i mean it looks ugly because it's all weather beaten but once you heat it up it goes right back to that color that's what i call the uh, rejuvenation of the plastic when you hit it with the heat uh, it would go back to the original color let me go back to what i was saying about the uh, abs uh the manufacturer said don't use uh, acetone for any reason to, for cleaning or wiping on this kayak but they never said why so i researched it and it turned out that uh, acetone melts abs plastic which is for me is a perfect thing because that's why I fix kayaks is with melted plastic. So what I did on that keel was it had a big crack, probably a 12, 13 inch crack on it. And I put a, some of that white ABS plastic that uh, it came, the guy I, I bought the kayak from gave me two big chunks of it. I put some of that plastic into acetone and it kind of turned it down into a, like a thick liquid. It looked like a, uh, like, like that marshmallow cream stuff you get. Anyway, so what I did was I painted some of that into the crack, taped the crack shut, and what the what it does it it has a chemical effect where it actually melts the plastic. So when I put it into the crack, it melted the two sides together. Plus it it, ha it was the same plastic on the inside. On the inside, I. Uh, I made some more and poured it, poured it into the keel just uh, just for extra support. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> I was just uh, making sure that I finished what I was telling you about ABS plastic repairs. There's a perception pescador over there. There's a purple uh, emotion kayak, a yellow um, pelican kayak. This thing up on top is a sailboat. And I've done many repairs on that thing. But these are your sources for plastic. This is a uh, Carlisle trash can lid. Where I work, we use big yellow trash cans, and they come with lids, and a lot of times they don't want the lids, and they're about to throw them away, and I'm like, no, 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 I'll take the lids, because trash cans come in so many different colors, and it's also the right plastic for repairing kayaks. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you some, and like I said, hot plastic sticks to hot plastic. Don't buy these keel guard patch things. They're just going to scrape right off. Uh, don't overthink it the simple rule hot plastic sticks to hot plastic so make sure both surfaces are hot because if if you have a crack here and you're and you're heating the plastic and you're spreading it down here where this isn't hot that go like this with your nail or take a spatula and scrape on the side of it and you'll see your plastic just pop right off so Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Little Tykes, Play School, any of these uh, outdoor furniture, indoor furniture, play sets, when they're doing bulk pickup in your neighborhood, go around two or three blocks and you'll probably find two or three of these things. I mean, look at all the sources of all the different colors I have. And if I want, I can mix mix some of the colors to make something else. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and <laughs> send me a dollar.